Hey, good afternoon, guys. It's Steve Cat 5 JUF. Hope everyone's doing okay out there. So today I've been messing around with uh, CW. Uh, made actual contact today, believe it or not. Uh, there was a uh, battleship, uh, USS Hornet, out of Oakland, California, November Bravo 6 Golf Charlie. They were calling CQ. Uh, they were calling it from the ship. And I actually made a contact with them. I don't know if they'll confirm it, but uh, it was pretty cool. We went back and forth. I was able to get my call sign out, my name, uh, in QTH and give them a signal report. So that was golden. And uh, uh, I really had to shorten up my uh, QSO. What I've learned listening to QSOs back and forth, they're very short and brevity is beautiful. So uh, anyway, m m got some notes about how to kind of reduce some of my, uh, my uh, volume of characters to send. But anyway, what I want to show you now is something pretty cool that's happening right now. And there are beacons, and 10 meter beacons going on. And what I do is I have a list of beacons on my computer but what I also do is I use FL Digi to determine what the name of the beacon is so let me show you real quick how that works on my computer right here this is my list of beacons I've located some in one in Orlando Syracuse uh, Kingston Ontario uh, one in uh, Idaho Minneapolis San Jose Vancouver Northwest uh, Idaho and Long Beach the beauty of these are you can dial in these frequencies and if you're getting information like right now this uh, this uh, repeater here coming out of Kingston Ontario is VA3KAH Now he's purple because I've made it I logged him in my logbook but what's happening now is if you notice right here these beacons they're just in a loop so they're constantly sending their call sign they do send a series of echoes and a series of V's. I've noticed uh, the slash B stands for beacon. But the beauty of this is you can practice copying CW. Uh, you can go to a beacon and, 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 and uh, at some point, as it's a repetitive loop, you will be able to basically start to copy. So that's just an idea. But more importantly with these beacons is we can tell which, which way propagation is going. For example, if you want to try to call to the northwest or to the northeast or maybe to California, you can go in and dial any of these frequencies here and you can see if there's a beacon or not. So let's switch back over the radio. They're, they're, they're hot right now. They're all going off. That's why I wanted to kind of catch this video here. So this is the video right now we are working on 28.168. This is VA3KAH. So I hear the beacon. I know right now if I want to go ahead and try to make contacts in the Syracuse, New York general area, Kingston, Ontario, the band's probably going to be open. So I could go to voice or I could actually just make CW contacts anywhere here in the 10 meter area. But the key is the band is open. Not necessarily don't care which direction is, but there's an opening because I hear the beacon. So let me let me show you another beacon out of uh, let's go to Joseph, Oregon, which is just northwest of Boise. That's going to be 28202. 28202. Let's see if he's still going on here. That one's fading out a little bit, but he's still there, and that is uh, 28202, that's Station Whiskey Alpha 7, Juliet Yankee Kilo, out of Joseph, Oregon, which is northwest of Boise. So, like, if I wanted to talk to some of my buddies in the Idaho area, uh, I, w I could come here, and if I hear something going on, there's a real good possibility that I might be able to make a contact in that area, and that's Joseph, Oregon is where this one's at. Again... This one here is also doing the same thing. It's a repetitive loop. So from a copying standpoint, it gives it, it's an excellent opportunity to, to copy everything that the, uh, that's coming out of the repeater or the beacon. Uh, but it allows you to tune your ear. And at some point, you know, you can use FL Digi to catch everything initially. But then at some point, you should be able to copy it without having it. So just, uh, just, just kind of a, a side thought there. Let's go to another one in Long Beach, California, 28244. This one is Whiskey Alpha 6, Alpha Papa Quebec. So we're going to go to 244. These guys, these beacons have really been going off all day. He is pretty weak. 
so the band is starting to drop a little bit into California. This one here sends it 10 words per minute. It's very, very slow. I turned on amp one. And then go back to IPO. Let's go to, there's another one here we have in Longwood, Florida, 28214. 28214 is November 4, Papa Alpha Lima, and there's nothing happening. So there's no propagation going into Florida right now. We have one right here. Let's go see what this is. Turn on the attenuator, he's so strong. That's November 7, Mike Sierra. November, Mike, November 7, Mike Sierra is looks like his northwest, north. See, I'm going to look him up real quick here. We got something here. Let's see what this is. I'm going to go back over here. And I'm, I, I clicked on the call sign. I'm going to look him up. Bellevue, Washington. Uh, no other information about him. Let's go back over to here. Seven M. Yeah, he's fading pretty bad, pretty tough to catch him out, but he, he's another beacon, but I can't quite bring him in, so let's go back over the radio. So anyway, the ideal here is go through and look, look for these beacons, and uh, usually if you scroll through the band, you see a waterfall, whoops, there's something right there. Okay, this is another beacon. I've got this one on my list also. This is uh, Victor Echo 7 Mike Tango Whiskey. And he's coming in out of uh, Vancouver. Go back over here. See right there. this location. Uh, that is, let me make sure, MTY is, uh, MTY is at Charlie 89, Papa Frank. So you get a couple of things from the beacon. You can determine uh, from the grid square right here, you can see which direction they are. And we've got propagation in Vancouver, so we had one, we also had that one coming in from uh, Idaho earlier, Joseph, so we had this this beacon beacon coming in and we have this beacon coming in so that's telling me right now that I've got propagation going into the Northwest so that's kind of a clue that if I want to start calling CQ look for the beacons and if you find a beacon move off that frequency and go around let's let's go down and look at a few more this is these beacons are pretty fun Sounds like a digital signal there. We'll just ignore that. We'll go a little faster here. I'm using FL Digi to control my VFO. A lot of, lot of them down here too. These are, I think these are some kind of digital mode. Yeah, these are all digital modes here. 
But earlier this morning it was pretty bitty. It's just... So anyway, I wanted to show you the, the the beacon. Here's something. Let's see what this is. We got something going on right there. Let's go see what this guy is. Come on. This guy's, this guy's calling CQ. This guy's calling CQ. Well, let's see here. How about that? He's calling CQ. See if it see if it'll come back to me. Oh darn it. Oh, don't. oh yeah, he just asked me to send him again. All right, let's see if he'll come back to me now. He got me. He got me. KI5JUF. 5NN. Very good. He got me. He got me. Into California. Let's give him a signal report. QTH All right, just hold on in Texas. Good deal. Not sure what he said there. I'll go ahead and sign with him here real quick. Uh, S. Teve. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He's asking me for the state again. Texas. Very good, very good. Okay. Very good. All right, I think he's doing friendly. Let's send him 73. Okay. Okay. Well, I think he's trying somebody else now, but we got him. He got him anyway. That was kind of rough. So my, my CWQ SOs, they're not very good, but we got him. He, he's able to copy us. Uh, yes. Yeah, he's, he's trying to do a test now. So anyway, that was a QSO. So as you can see, they're very rough. I was able to hear the guy. We did make a contact. So anyway, I uh, just wanted to show you the, uh, the uh, beacons and what they look like. So thanks again for watching.